Here lies Richard Wagner, at peace, we hope, after having lived one of the most turbulent lives in the whole of the 19th century, and leaving behind 10 of the most memorable works in the whole of the history of opera. Of these works, pride of place must be given to the most massive, four operas in one, The Ring of the Nibelungen. In this tale told in music, Wagner sets out a vision of humanity and a view of the world that's without equal in Western culture. Its ideas may grapple with the meaning of existence, but its music gets you right here. I'm Heath Lees. And I'm going to be talking about how I see and hear Wagner's world of myth, legend and human action. You know, I fell in love with the ring as a boy of 14 when I found an old 78 recording of something called Wotan's Farewell. And I sat down to listen to it. Well, it changed my life forever. And since then, I've studied Wagner, read Wagner, written about Wagner, lectured on Wagner. And with every week that passes, I've found that there's always more good and bad to learn about Wagner. You and I are clearly both huge fans of Richard Wagner. Can you manage to be a full-time conductor and to do so much uh, Wagner conducting and still stay, stay a complete fan? Oh yes. I. <laughs> I will have to go through many more performances of Wagner because before I can say I've had enough. Yeah. Because it grows on you and every time you conduct you discover something different and you understand it more and I think it's a, it's a lifetime project. One thing I learned right at the start is that The Ring is first and foremost a work of music. Sure, it's also a work of poetry, a landmark of operatic achievement, but what really counts in the ring is the music. And that's why in these programs I want to uncover the music in a new and deeper way. 